Now this, oof. that's good. Mm. 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 Delish. You gotta try it. Yum. I love pizza. Hey, it's Brian with HCLF Vegan. That's high carb, low fat vegan. Welcome. Okay, tonight I'm gonna show you how to make pizza from scratch. Whole wheat, fresh pizza. There's no oil. No bad ingredients at all. Totally delicious, totally vegan. High carb, low fat, and very good for you. We have one and a half cups of water and we are going to add a four and a half teaspoons of uh, yeast. Two, three, four, and this is just uh, regular Red Star active dry yeast. Now for pizza crust, I like to make it sweet. So we're going to use some uh, organic whole maple syrup. And just add, uh, you can add up to four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. Mix it around with the yeast. Gives the yeast something to eat so that it kind of comes to life in there. Okay. Now we're just going to set that off to the side while we prepare the rest. So next, we're just going to take uh, about three cups of whole wheat flour. I have a couple of different kinds here because I'm uh, this one's running out. This is Bob's uh, Red Mill 100% organic whole wheat, and uh, they didn't have that today, so I picked up this uh, 365 brand from Whole Foods, and that's just uh, whole wheat flour, all organic. I like to use organic because uh, then I know they haven't sprayed a whole bunch of pesticides and herbicides on it, uh, but. Uh, the recipe works just fine with regular uh, non-organic ingredients if you prefer those. So we just need four cups. You can see the measuring doesn't have to be exact. That's about one and a half I got out of that one. Two. And we'll call that three cups. You've got three cups of whole wheat flour. That's all that's in there. You're going to add some salt. Just one teaspoon of salt. Any kind of salt you like. Okay. So I just like to mix the uh, flour up with the salt manually before I add any liquid to it. Okay, so now you can make bread without a blender, uh, just doing it all by hand. Pour in the ingredients, mix it up, knead the dough. Uh, I like to use technology whenever I can. Uh, so I use this nice uh, KitchenAid mixer and I use this blade. It's a nice KitchenAid mixer. Just dump the water with your yeast into the flour. Lock it into place. Mix it up.
I just let it mix it for a while. Get all the ingredients mixed in there good. This will mix the flour for you and knead the dough, really. Let's just see how that's doing. Yeah. Not bad. Can use a little bit more flour, but we can do that uh, in the next step. So when you're working with dough, you just want to leave the uh, a little extra flour off to the side. Anytime it gets sticky, uh, you can use a little flour and that'll get the dough off your hands or off whatever it's stuck to. Alright, so we don't need the mixer anymore. Alright, so now you have some choices about how you make this. If you want a deep crust, you can use a pan like this. This is just silicon. And it's a uh, two inch by, I don't know, nine or ten. Uh, I just got it on Amazon. Makes a great pizza and it just, this thing folds inside out. So you can just pop whatever you cook right out there and it's never going to stick. And you can make a nice deep dish pizza in that, or you can make a small pizza for one. Uh, it, that'll use about half of this dough. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, what you do, we'll start it out in there just to show you. This is cornmeal. Just scatter that. It keeps it from uh, sticking. It also adds a little crunch. It's nice. Right. It's just ground up organic cornmeal. Okay. Now, uh, before we work with the dough, so I'm just going to put that off to the side. Work with the dough. We're going to sprinkle it with some flour so it doesn't stick to my hands. And we're going to just uh, work it off the sides so that. There you go. So you just get a nice, uh, nice piece of dough. Okay. So. If you're going to make the deep dish, you just put it in. You pat it down, raise up the edges so you have a little bit of crust. Just like that. You see that? See how the edges are raised? Okay. And so then you'll have a nice crust on the edge and you'll be able to fill up the middle. Now remember, I'm going to beat down this middle part because we haven't even let this rise. You've seen all of this pretty much in real time. And so uh, you don't even have to let it rise. It's ready to go right now. Uh, but we've got a bunch of other ingredients that we're going to prepare. So we're going to let that sit. I'll move that over. Okay, so one of the nice things about cooking for yourself is you can use whatever ingredients you want. And you cannot use whatever ingredients that you want. So I happen to like garlic. So we're going to use a fair amount of garlic here. There's uh, five relatively large cloves. And uh, we're just going to chop it. Nothing particularly fancy about chopping this. If you want to take your time and do it all razor thin, that's fine. I happen to like chunks. So I just kind of mince it a bit. get all fancy like a professional cooking show and even have that in a little 
It's our own little piece of uh, glass. There we go. So, set that off to the side. See? All right. Now I want some pepper. I like red pepper. Slice it large, slice it small, slice it how you want. Carefully keep your fingers out of the way. <laughs> I say that mostly to remind myself. Flying out of town on vacation tomorrow, and I don't want the trip to the hospital in between now and then. Okay, so that's the pepper. Nice red pepper that's going to go on there. We'll get rid of these spare pieces and the seeds. All right. And tomato. Slice this relatively thin. Sharper your knife, the thinner the slices you'll be able to do, but it's up to you what you like and what you can do. Doesn't matter a whole lot to the ultimate outcome. If you don't like tomatoes on your pizza, don't use them. You can use broccoli, you can really use just about any vegetable that you want uh, that you like on pizza. So make it so that you like it. Okay, so. At this point, if you're going to do a deep dish, uh, you would just uh, start adding ingredients. Sauce first. Um, oh wait, I forgot. I'm going to, uh, I've got some fresh basil here. And uh, I have a basil plant, but there's not enough leaves on it right now, so I just bought some fresh uh, organic basil. Uh, nice. Brush off the plant. over here and we're just going to uh, strip these leaves off buds are really flavorful so if there's a bud on there make sure you leave it and uh, I don't use that some people might I don't know um, then I just like to slice it so that I can spread it around more easily. You can use the whole leaves if you prefer. I just don't. I'm going to hurt myself with that knife, so I'm going to switch to this knife again. So we have our ingredients. I'll pull those back. What I actually want to do is a thin crust pizza. So I'm going to use this cookie sheet. And just like we did with the uh, just like we did with the silicon, we're going to add some cornmeal and we're going to spread that around. This will help it to not stick because we're not using any oil or any non-stick anything. Okay, so. You have enough of this in the right pan, it won't stick. Now you can use a non-stick pan if you want. I do have um, uh, silicon uh, sheets that I can put over that, but 
Honestly, this, is, this worked out fine last time. And so uh, I'm just gonna take this now. The other nice thing about having it preformed is now I just spread it out here on this. So gets a little sticky, put a little flour over the top. Get it thin spots, fill them in. You don't have to be a master pizza tosser or anything. See, this will work just fine. Just raise that top a little bit. All right. It's good. Okay. So now you got your crust. The whole thing in there. All right. Good. Now, for the sauce, I just use this tomato paste. This is organic tomato paste. Um, there's no oil in it. Ingredients, organic tomatoes. That's it. Sometimes you can get them with a little spice. That's fine too. As long as it doesn't have oil. I just spoon it out. It's a very concentrated uh, flavor and it's also rather dry so it does not um, make your dough all wet or bleed through and you can just spread it around my uh, friend's grandmother who was from Sicily used to make this amazing Sicilian pizza that barely had any sauce at all on it I think this is what she used, and she used even less than this, but it was just this much, much thicker dough for Sicilian. Um, but it was a very light coating of tomato like this on the top uh, with just a few spices. Oh my God. That was good. And so is this. Other advantage of having uh, gloves on, I can just smooth this out with my hands if I want. And you can do that with your fingers if you want to, too. If you like to play with your food. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. All right. Okay, so there's nothing magic about the order that you do this in. Um, I'm gonna spread the garlic. And you just try and spread it evenly, that's all you're doing. And get it all on there, of course. And you can see I got nice, lots of big chunks. Oh, that's gonna be good, yes. And then I do the same with the fresh basil. Spread that as evenly as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I also have some organic, uh, just oregano leaves. You see that? And I spread those around as well. That's a little much there. I'll spread that out a little. It'll be fine. Okay. So now spinach, like I said, you can add whatever you want. I just got uh, some of this uh, baby spinach, organic. This is the second time I'm using it for the second pizza. And spinach, I don't bother to chop up. You can if you want to. Use the baby spinach whole and recycle the carton. Okay, now we add the pepper. Mmm, I love red bell pepper. This is organic too, just bought it today, nice and fresh. And then uh, spread the tomatoes over the top. Oh yeah. Oh now that looks good. There you go. So this is high carb, low fat, vegan, delicious pizza. You're gonna bake this 
Now it depends how you like to bake it. Some people bake it on lower heat for more time. I like pizza baked fast and uh, that's how they do it in the restaurants. So I'm going to turn the oven up to 500 and or bake it uh, for about 12 minutes. Uh, if it's not done in 12 minutes then we'll go longer. But um, we just kind of keep an eye on it at that point. Now, as I said, you can use any combination of ingredients you want. If you don't like a sweet crust, you can leave out the maple syrup. It'll work just fine without it. Uh, I like a little bit of sweetness in the crust, so I add it. Um, you can use other sweeteners if you want. You can just use plain sugar. I find the uh, liquid sweeteners work a little bit better mixing it in with a crust, but that could just be me. Um, but it works just fine without it. I've made it without any sweetener at all in the crust and it's just as good. So um, really a matter of just preference. So we're gonna bake this um, and then we will come back after it's done and show you what it looks like. And I wish I could share a piece with you. Okay, so that's what it looks like cooked, fresh out of the oven. I'd rather transfer it onto the cutting board. You see how most of it didn't stick. I'll just run the spatula under there to find any spots that might be a little sticky. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh yeah, nice and slidey. Okay, and the cornmeal usually does a pretty good job and it just slides. There you go. Look at that. No stick. No oil. Hmm. Doesn't that look delicious? It's delicious too. I've had this before. I made it a few days ago. Uh, some of you might have seen it. Uh, I posted it on Instagram, I think. If you want to add a little more uh, salt or pepper or any spice that you might like, you can always sprinkle those on top. Hope you like the pizza. It's delicious. Try it. Uh, feel free to put anything you want on it. You can mix it up. Don't have to follow the recipe exactly. Matter of fact, I don't think I gave you an exact recipe. Just mix it up and have some fun. All the ingredients work. A little more, a little less, add a couple of things, take a couple of things away. If you don't have something, it's mostly okay. Um, just play with it and have fun. It's really good. See you next time. If you like, you want to see more of these, uh, like and subscribe down below. And that'll make sure you get notified when I put more up, which should be soon. Going on vacation tomorrow. I'm hoping to shoot some videos on vacation showing you how to eat high-carb, low-fat vegan even when you're away. And uh, staying at the beach, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll see you soon. Mm. Oh. Ah, oh, fresh tomato on top. That's really good. Bye. Right. Bye. See you later. Oh yeah. Finish eating.